Did you guys know that Ritual Defeat is at Ulta? Week two is popping. Week two is where it's at. What's up guys, I'm Deirdre. Welcome to my channel. I work in tech and I bring the same analytical point of view to my beauty space here on YouTube. So if that sounds good, I would love it if you would subscribe. But today I've got a few new things, including the LYS setting spray. So we are going to get ready together while I talk you through my picks for the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale. So there are a lot of things that I have and recommend and also a bunch that I'm planning on picking up for the first time. So if that sounds good, stick around and let's get into it. I just prepped my lips with the Ula Hendrickson Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. It feels really nice on the lips. It smells like creamsicles. My only complaint is that it is slightly yellow in tint and it makes my lips look less naturally colored than they are. So it just kind of gives a mute flush over the lips. So I don't think that this is something that I would ever throw in my bag to take out with me. This is definitely more of a in the house lip treatment for me. But other than that, smells delicious and feels really moisturizing and nice on the lips so far. Let's talk Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So it starts on August 27th and each day there are different deals in which you can get the products at 50% off. For the first week, what caught my eye is the Lancome Concealer. I actually have mine today and I'll be applying it to the face. Then later in the week, they also have the Becca slash Smashbox Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And that is a really popular product, but I have not tried it yet. So I think I'm gonna pick this up at that 50% price. Finishing off this first week, they do also have the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pen. I'm also going to be using that today. It is a classic and I might pick up a refill at that 1250 price point. So time to do my base. I'm just going to take my MAC Studio Plus Skin Tint and rub it in with my fingers. Okay, going in with my Lancome Concealer. This is also marketed as something that can be used all over the face. So I usually do my chin and in between my eyes as well as the smile lines and a bit under the cheek. While that concealer dries, I'm gonna take my blush and I'm just going to dot a bit in the palm of my hand. Then take a small brush from Anissa of Beauty and go ahead and tap that across the face. This is in the shade Encourage, and it is my favorite of the Rare Beauty shades. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap in that concealer with my Rare Beauty brush. Now that creams are done, I'm gonna go in with this brand new LYS setting spray. I have been using this for the past three days and I am so impressed by it. So the ingredients list is water, glycerin, aloe leaf juice, green tea extract, and cucumber fruit extract. So those are a lot of soothing and moisturizing ingredients. However, this does lend a beautiful matte finish. The consistency you can tell in the bottle is a little bit thicker. It has a little bit more viscosity. So I think that that is the aloe leaf juice or the aloe juice coming through in the formula, but I have been really loving this. Very low fragrance. It might be slightly, slightly cucumbery, but there is no added fragrance in this. That is from the cucumber extract itself and has been in no way irritating to me. I have not heard anyone else talk about this, but I was so impressed with it. So I went over to Sephora and saw a bunch of rave reviews. So highly recommend picking this up. I actually got this 30% off, even though it's brand new, by using the Shop app. And I did post about that in my community tab in case you guys wanted to take advantage of that sale as well. While that settles, let's talk about week two of the Ulta sale. The first thing is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Long Hair Concealer. That is something that I had in my collection a couple years ago and I really, really liked it. So I am thinking about picking this up at that $17 price point. Also get a good amount of product in that and it is another concealer that is marketed as all over use. So if you wanted to pick up one that was your skin tone, you could definitely use this as a foundation. They also have the NARS Power Matte Lip 
pigment and that's $15 which I am interested in trying and REM Beauty's liquid shadows. This might be something that my sister would love for Christmas and at the 50% off it is only $8 so pretty cheap. All right this was a new announcement that I was super excited to see. The Persona cream blushes are on sale for $13 and I have not tried this formula but have been meaning to so I'll definitely scoop up one of those. If you guys have a favorite shade let me know. Then the next day on September 5th they have the Causar X snail all-in-one cream. I love that cream so much. It is definitely in my permanent rotation. I don't use it every day because snail mucin does have glycolic acid in it so it is slightly and gently exfoliating which is not something that I'm looking for every day but I think that if you alternate days this is a beautiful mo moisturizer and it makes your skin look so plump and voluminous especially under makeup. Okay that same day the peach and lily wild dew treat essence is on sale for $19.50. I've not tried this but I am definitely going to pick it up because I've heard a lot of good things about it. Week two is popping. Week two is where it's at. So they also have the Buxom Power Line Lip Plumping Liners. I have not tried these either but I will definitely pick one up at $10. And then they have About Face Eye on sale for September 7th. So I'm seeing the fractal eye paints that I love, love specifically the shade Smolder, as well as the eye primer, which I've not tried, but would definitely be interested. Back to makeup, I am loving the way that my face is looking right now, and I promise you that I am attributing it to this. I feel like I can always tell if I like how my base products looks depending on this area right here because that is the area where I have my smile lines as well as my most enlarged pores and right now my texture in that area is looking impeccable. So highly recommend you guys check this out. Keeping with the LYS theme, I'm going to use my one of my favorite setting powders from them. This is in Translucent and you can tell by the pan how much use I get out of this. This is just a great powder for all over the face. I actually did just purchase a different color, a bit of a deeper shade to see if I could use this powder as bronzer because I love the formula so much. Okay, now going in with some bronzer, I'm using my Galactic Bronzer in the shade Casablanca. This is such an easy, quick bronzer. It packs a lot of pigment on the first application and the formula is perfectly powdery and not stiff, which to me makes application really, really easy and quick. I also love this tone. I would say that it is on the warmer side of the bronzers that I own, but just enough to make my skin look golden and glowy and not orangey whatsoever. I feel like if more people tried this bronzer that it would be way more popular, although the last time I checked they only had two shades, which clearly is not acceptable. But if your skin tone is anywhere near mine, I do think that you'll love this bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my brows using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, which again is on sale for the Ulta 21 days, and I'll be back. Okay, brows are done, and I am just throwing a bit of that bronzer in the crease and along the outer third of the eye. And then I'm going to use my House Labs liner to do a bold inner corner. Okay, eyes are done. I just used my Better Than Sex mascara. I love this mascara. It's such a classic. This is the waterproof version, but I love both versions so much. Such volume, such length. We love her. Let's talk week three. We have the Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer for $16, which is very tempting. I have not tried this before, but I've heard good things about it. And then on the same day, September 10th, we also have the Born This Way palette by Too Faced, which was something that was on my radar when it first came out. It's so pretty. I think I might pick this up and either save it for my sister for Christmas or use it myself. The color story is just classic. You can't go wrong. And for $26, I think it's worth the pickup. Benefit Eyeliners is also on sale. So they're 11 to $12. That's also a really good deal. And then on September 12th, they do have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Lip Oils. I have heard really good things about these but again have never tried these myself. A lot of this sale are things that I'm interested in picking up but a lot of new things to my collection. Also this week they have Smashbox Halo products. They have a lip slash cheek 
product, which I'm interested in. And they also just recently launched this concealer. So I'm actually kind of surprised that it's in the sale. But let me know if you guys have tried that concealer and if you like it. I love testing out new concealers. It's like one of my favorite things to try. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm excited about is September 16th when MAC blushes are 50% off. I will likely scoop up one or two of these. I was actually just on the MAC website and there is some drama over a reformulation of the color Warm Soul. So many people had reviewed the product and were angry that it was different than the original formulation. So I thought that was funny. Let me know if you're one of those people that is missing the Warm Soul blush. Okay, so I think that those are what I'm eyeing for the Sephora sale. Be sure to be checking daily because there are some surprise sales that are sprinkled in as well as some app only deals. As far as highlight, I am going to try this brand new product from Ritual Defee. Did you guys know that Ritual Defee is at Ulta? Um, this is the first product I have tried from them. I actually swatched this in store and thought it was so special that I had to pick it up. I didn't know much about this brand before doing a deep dive this weekend and I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm going to be ordering more from this brand because the whole ethos is just something I'm super into. It's like very witchy and magical. Let me know if you guys have any favorites from the brand because I am thinking of picking a few more things up from Ulta. So I don't know if you can tell how special this highlighter is from the swatch but not only does it completely disappear when the sun isn't hitting it, it also has a bunch of mysterious reflex. So there's some pink and a very, very subtle shift of purple that I think translates just so beautiful on the cheeks. So I'm just going to dab this on the high points. Yeah, that is so, so pretty. And I'm gonna carry this below the brow bone as well. You guys, I love this so much. I don't know if it translates on camera, but there is just something so shifting and special about this. So for the lip combo, I'm going to use Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm going to put Sweet Mouth by Fenty, which is also a very special shade over that. I'm going to top off my blush in Behave by NARS. This is a very dry formula. I'm not sure if it's just this blush that I got or if all of the Behaves are just dry, but I find that you have to really apply this with a natural bristle brush in order to pick up a decent amount of product. All right guys, so the look is complete and that does it for me. Let me know what you are picking up in the 21 days of beauty sale. As far as the few new items I tried today, I would say that you could probably skip this peptide lip treatment just because of that yellow color. I just don't find it to be super flattering. So it's not something that I would wear outside the house. And then the absolute game-changing wins that I am so happy that I found is the LYS setting spray, as well as the Ritual de Fee Rare Light cream illuminizer. So both of these are going to be in my permanent rotation. I am super excited that I picked both up. Thank you so much for watching and for considering liking and subscribing below. I really appreciate it, but I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!